Hi, my name is Sam and this is another Aviso 9.0 tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will cover how to separate objects in Aviso and basic Aviso image analysis. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the separate objects block and we're just going to click auto refresh so I can show you all the different things it can do. So the separate objects block has a, many different functions. So I'm just going to go over each of the settings one by one. 3D versus XY planes. So 3D does it by voxels. So 6 does it by one connected face. 18 does it 18 voxels by one connected edge. And 26 is one only one connected vertex. So you can see how this makes more or makes less. And this makes the most. and break some when they don't actually need to be broken. Like there. Where these do two. See? So you can try different settings until you get what you want in this. So this marker is stent, it will basically smooth it out, so the higher you have this, so if I have like 32, the less blocks there will be. And if I have this in one, the more blocks there will be. Like that. So there are many different output types. One is split, so that's the split, each one split. One is just the lines in between, like this. The next one is basin, so I'll just show the basins with lines in between. Basins 2 is just the basins with no black lines in between and is one connected and is each is a connected object. So we're going to use split for today. So the algorithm mode, repeatable versus fast. So fast uses asynchronous processing to be a tiny bit faster, but it's not repeatable. So we're going to change this to 4 and we're going to use the 3D mode. We're going to use 26, okay? Because I think that works pretty well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this label analysis. So for all of these, remember, you can just search them for them right there. So I'm going to attach it to the intensity image. This just to... So I'm going to attach this to the intensity image foam AM. So it's... It allows you to do more advanced processing with label analysis. It is not needed for this tutorial. So this, just like every other Aviso object, has 3D and XY. So these measures is what it will compute for this and this label analysis. So you can make more, like I made this example group by just clicking on this button and I added area 3D and just area to it. So we're going to, but for this tutorial, we're just going to use basic. You just click apply. So what it does is this, basically a spreadsheet of all these different values. So I can use this, which will allow me to select one of these. So if I move this around to like here, oh, it's two. I can also click on these to figure out which one it is. And it has a bunch of very interesting statistics. Like the volume of one is five, eight, nine, four voxels. So the next thing we can do with this is we can use the analyst filter. So this filter allows you to weed out parts of the data you don't want. So let's say I only want the stuff less than 3,000. And let's apply it. So that's so little, right? All of this, a lot. you can input any of these functions. It uses very simple Boolean logic. So Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another Aviso 9.0 tutorial. If you have any questions, just post them below in the comments.
comments and don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button.